Right after the number one pick Andrew Wiggins was traded from Cleveland to Minnesota for Kevin Love in August 2014, the late great Kobe Bryant said this, referencing back to when Charlotte traded him on draft day in 1996 to the Lakers for Vladi Divac. And after Kobe played against a rookie Wiggins, he again drew comparisons, saying this, We know that Kobe doesn't toss praise to just anyone, and if he sees greatness in someone, more likely than not, that player will push themselves to be great. So the question is, if Andrew Wiggins has greatness within himself, why isn't he unleashing it? This is Topic Tackle. Let's go. What's good people, JC3 here, and ever since high school, Andrew Wiggins has drawn the Kobe comparison more than any other player in recent history. Heck, I even made a video years ago saying that he was the closest upcoming player to Kobe in the league, and well, here you go. I'm about to roast myself by playing this, but take a listen. And the Timberwolves are going to be a good team, and two to three years, they'll be a playoff team competing for a championship. I honestly believe it. I think in a couple years, that's when you're going to see Andrew Wiggins, Carl Towns, like the Kobe-Shaq combo, but the modern day where... You know, both players can shoot really well. Boom, roasted. I was blatantly wrong. But honestly, I have no problem with it because I know I wasn't the only one in that same boat. Plus, how special were Shaq and Kobe that even the duos we've projected to reach their level haven't even come close? Let's get back to today because Andrew Wiggins was recently traded to the Golden State Warriors, but regardless of that, this is a guy who's tapped into greatness at points in his career, but then manages to return to a really good player. I mean, let's not kid ourselves, 22.4 points and 5.2 boards a night in the NBA is really good, but when we look at these numbers in context, they aren't great. Wiggins is a career for 44.1% field goal shooter. He's shooting 44.4% from the field this season. This puts him close to the 10 highest scorers field goal percentages from the 2005-06 season. Times have changed and teams expect more efficiency and therefore higher field goal percentages. Half of the top 10 scorers in 2005-06 shot below 45.5% from the field and no one shot above 49.5%. The average three point attempts per game among these players was 4.5. Only three of the top 10 scorers in the 2018 19 season shot below 45.5% and two players Giannis and KD shot above 50% with 57.8 and 52.1% respectively. The average three-point attempts per game among the top 10 scorers was 7.3. All of this to say, Wiggins field goal percentage is lagging in today's league. It is understandable to play 36.8 minutes, shoot 44.2% on 24 and a half field goal attempts while scoring 36.1 points per night, which is what James Harden did to lead all scorers last season, but it is questionable when you're starting shooting guard averaged two less minutes, shot 3% worse on 5.7 less field goal attempts and scored 18 less points a night. That was Andrew Wiggins' stat line last season. We know the game isn't all about scoring, so what about Wiggins' other stats? ESPN lists Wiggins as a shooting guard standing at 6'7", and he's among the tallest two guards in the league, yet he ranks 7th in rebounding. How about assists? He ranks 14th. I know some of y'all got on me for using PER before, but I still believe it's a good indicator for player efficiency relative to the number of minutes they play. And yet again, Andrew Wiggins finds himself in the middle of the pack for shooting guards with a 16.41 PER. For context, the average PER is 15. And looking at Wiggins' numbers year after year, you'll notice how static his five and a half NBA seasons have been. I don't want to do this, but Kobe made the comparisons himself, so we're going to go there. In Kobe's first five seasons, notice the evident increase in points per game, assists, his rebounding numbers increase, even his field goal percentage beats Wiggins. And one thing that can't be measured is drive, the tenacity and hunger to be the best. Kobe had it from day one. He wanted to be that guy. No question, no doubt about it. And we're sitting five and a half years into Andrew Wiggins' career, and and still can't say the same. We shouldn't expect him to be Kobe anymore, and frankly, it was silly of us to think he was ever going to be. But we should see the Mamba mentality kick in, right? Andrew Wiggins is a very solid player, but solid isn't good enough for a number one pick. And I make this video not to throw shade at Wiggins, but to challenge him to unleash the greatness we all know he possesses. Because at the end of the day, is Wiggins going to be that guy who finished his college career with an eight point game, signed a max deal in Minnesota just to continue the same production year after year, or is he going to be become a star. Maybe it's going to take a new system, new teammates, a new coaching staff to speak it to him. But either way, it's time for him to show the best version of himself on the basketball court. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. What does Andrew Wiggins have to do to unlock his maximum potential? More Topic Tackle coming soon. Stay solid, people.